hi again i create this video because some of my followers ask me to explain the motherboard component including computer motherboard and laptop motherboard so in this video you will learn all about computer motherboard components i will try to explain to you all components okay i have here many motherboards that i'm going to study with you one by one in order to know about all components that you can find in any motherboard as a technician or engineer so i will try to explain to you in a fast way in order to avoid making a very long video okay so let's get started over here we have the cmos battery 3 volt cmos battery okay this is electrolytic capacitor or polarized capacitor we call it also chemical capacitor all those are electrolytic capacitors this is mosfets this is three pin mosfets we find this kind of mosfet in desktop motherboard okay here we have ICs. we have another ic over here so this slot is for graphic card and those for usb card and network connection and network cards etc here we have the crystal oscillator here we have transistors over here we have resistors here we have another crystal oscillator this is a chipset the suit bridge and this is the headset here we have a switch so this is ICs, as you can see, crystal oscillator, diodes, capacitors, electrolytic capacitors, transformer, zener diodes, resistor. Here, this is the heatsink. In under this heatsink, we have a chipset. This is SATA connector, serial ATI connectors. Over here, we have jumpers. We use this jumper to connect between two pins. Okay, you can use this jumper manually. For example, the jumper for the BIOS, you can use it to receive the BIOS. This is electrolytic capacitor. Here we have resistors. So as you can see here, this is the processor socket and here we have the processor. This is all this is the processor circuit as you can see. This is electrolytic capacitor and here we have inductors. And over here we have MOSFETs. So for this processor, it has four channels. How? Because we have here, as you can see, four channels here as you can see we have three mosfets with inductor with capacitor this is the first channel this is the second as you can see three mosfet inductor capacitor three mosfet inductor capacitor and three mosfet inductor and over here we have two capacitors okay so also this is inductors here we have ic over here we have other electrolytic capacitor this is basically for the graphic card, the socket for the graphic card. This is the CMOS battery. We have here the chipset. Here we have a heatsink. This is the heatsink. Basically, the heatsink has a very import, important purpose because it calls down any component like the processor or the chipsets. This is a jumper, as you can see over here, and here we have ACMD component, as you can see. This is capacitors and resistors, ACMD component. Here we have capacitors, ceramic capacitors. We have C, so C means capacitors. Here we have L means this is inductor, okay? And this, this is capacitor. So this is a general view, as you can see here, where we have the processor, AMD processor. Here we have the North Bridge, the graphic card over here. So around the processor, we have its components like electrolytic capacitors and as you can see here, inductors. Okay, so this is for power that power the whole motherboard and this jack to power just the CPU. So we have also electrolytic capacitor here. We have here ports. So this is here, as you can see, the socket for the graphic card and those socket is for the 
other cards like USB card, network card, etc. Okay, this is the CMOS battery. Basically, this is the ICH. We have these connectors for HDD and ODD driver. This is a real motherboard where we have the processor, the graphic card. Here we have just two chipsets or three chipsets. Here the graphic card is integrated with the node bridge. Okay, in some computer you will find that the graphic card is integrated to, with the node bridge and in the improved and advanced computers, the graphic card, the node bridge are integrated with the CPU. Okay? And even you, you can find also the ICH integrated with the CPU. So you find just one chipset. Okay? Four in one. Means the CPU, the graphic card, the node bridge, and the ICH. So this is the RAM slots. As you can see, four RAM slots. Okay? So basically we'll find here in this area the working voltage for the RAM slots. If for example the RAM slot type is DDR2, you will find 1.8 volts working voltage. DDR3 for example 1.5 volt. Okay. DDR4 1.2 volt. DDR5 1.1 volt, etc. So over here we have electrolytic capacitors. Always you will find electrolytic capacitors in every circuit because electrolytic capacitors are used to power the circuit. They filter the current, okay? Electrolytic capacitors and inductors. As you can see here, we have inductors. So what is the purpose in that of inductors exactly? Is to increase the current of the signal because in the computer, the, the signal or the voltage should be a correct voltage, okay? A correct and pure voltage. That's why you will find always electrolytic capacitors, inductors, and ceramic capacitors. So for electrolytic capacitors, they filter the current to become a continuous current. For inductors, they increase the current. To become enough current and for ceramic capacitors and for ceramic capacitors they filter the noise in the current in order to be a pure current okay so here the same here we have the power jack that power the whole motherboard okay and this is for the cpu four pins you will find here 12 volt and 5 volt to power the cpu okay so here we have the graphic card at the north bridge the ICH. this is the pci socket or slot for usb card or network card etc here we have ports as you can see like rg45 ports usb port audio port this is printer port etc okay and of course this is the clock generator ic this is the clock generator ic you will find always this clock generator ic next to the cpu so this IC as a, is a very important IC. It gives the timing or the clock for the motherboard. Without this IC, the motherboard cannot work properly because it synchronizes the work of all these components. Okay, so here we have the BIOS basic input output system, as you can see over here. So this is an Android motherboard. We have the CPU. As I told you before, we have capacitors, always electrolytic capacitors, and this is ceramic capacitors. Capacitors. Here we have inductor. Okay, this is inductor basically. Here we have another ceramic capacitors. This is the support that we use to unlock and lock the CPU socket. Okay, here we have the north bridge. We have other capacitors as you can see over here. Other capacitors. And this is the buses. Okay, so the buses we call the buses between the CPU and the graphic card FSB bus or front side bus. This bus has a very increased speed or frequency. So in the next video that I will make after this video, we're gonna speak about buses. Okay, the buses in the computer. So here, as you can see, we have other ICs, we have the processor, we have these pinouts. So these pins are used, for example, for a jumper, okay? To connect, for example, between this and this, you will use a jumper like this or like this. So these pins basically 
is used for the speakers, for mic, for LEDs in the motherboard, etc. Okay, and here we have resistors as you can see over here. So here, as you can see, we have inductor. This is an inductor, okay? Here we have, basically, this is a diode, okay? And here we have 10 tenum capacitor. We call this capacitors 10 tenum capacitors. And this is ceramic capacitor. Here we have ICs. This is ICs, not transistor. You know why? Because we have here U. U means this is IC. And here we have resistor so that's it guys i i hope that you enjoyed the video so of course for any one of you that want uh, to know about any component you can just ask me in the comment or go to patreon page and upload for me for example the image of any component you want and i will ask you no problem okay i'm here to assist you and of course don't forget to subscribe share and like because your engagement to the video motivate me to create more and more videos for you thank you very much and see you in the next video by the way the next video will be the buses in the computer the buses that connect between the cpu and the north bridge and the graphic card and the ram and all motherboard components so thank you very much